Welcome. But for this series of, of, uh, of videos, we're going to talk about how the financial benefit, the financial value, the realization of value from a business, a startup business, is, is actually turned into dollars and cents. It tells you how all the work, the energy, the effort, the ideas, the, um, the formation, the organizing, the financial resources, the time, the energy, how that is realized in the rewards of essentially financial value, financial benefit, how that whole story works. It's true for both the financial investors, venture capitalists or angels or others that put dollars and cents to work, capital to work for your business, but also for the founders who put their ideas, their time, their energy, <clears throat> their effort, all of those things to work for their business as well. How this information, how this effort, how least this time and energy is turned into financial rewards, the valuation of the business. We're going to talk about how investors and entrepreneurs think about value creation and then how they calculate that into a dollar and cents to determine what, they, what the, quote, valuation or the enterprise value, the value of the enterprise as an ongoing business is actually worth. So if someone invests a million dollars, do they get 1% of the business, 10% of the business, 50% of the business, or 100% of the business? You don't know that unless you know what the business is worth. So that's what these series of videos will be about. We'll start in the next video talking about some methods of how one calculates value. Then we'll focus on the primary method, which is discounted cash flow and how that works. And then we'll talk about the hardest part of that, which is the end of your, your cash flows. What's this thing worth in the end, the terminal value, as they say, five years out, ten years out, or whatever? How do you determine that value? And then we'll talk about some other uh, points to be made about how this valuation process works. So that will be the series of videos that we'll see. Uh, hopefully, by the end of the videos, you'll understand both how the calculation is done, but also some of the risks and concerns associated with this sort of valuation and how its act accuracy is, of course, limited to a degree which makes individuals or investors and whatever use this method, but also be are aware that it is only an approximation of value. So we'll start in our next video talking about some of the methods that are used. We'll see you then.